Broadway and Morning Shade 4 5. Welcome to the show. If you're just now tuning in, we got a lot of great people coming by today, DB. We're doing our Sway in the Morning concert series, right? Yes, we are. We got the uh, guys from 300 Entertainment. They're on the Birth of a New Nation tour. Yeah. Day Day. All right. Shock uh, Lizzie. Ah. London on the track. London on the track. PMB Rock. Okay, later on in the show, we got one of your. Oh, man. Pedro Serrano from Major League. Also the voice of the Allstate commercial, Dennis Haysburg. That's a hell of a gig, yo. That is a great gig, Ooh, right? You get man. paid for a long time when you do that. Right. It's like the Pine Saw lady, man. She's been getting checks for like 30 years. Come through. And that's all she's done. I've never really seen her in a movie. That's all that's that matters. That's clean money, too. Yeah, well, you know, as y'all know, I'm a TV buff. <laughs> you stupid. That was good. Damn. I'm a TV buff, and I swear to you, man, it's uh, especially since these alternative platforms have been coming out, um, but... It's been very competitive, um, I think, in, in the world of TV and, and movies to um, up the caliber of work that's coming out. Challenge yourself to entertain the audience uh, and not take the, the cheap way out. You know, And one of the shows I, I find myself fixated with every Wednesday night on OWN Network at 10 p.m. is Queen Sugar. I don't know if y'all saw this. Mm-hmm. So many great reviews. <laughs> We've been talking about it. Yep. The magnificent Ava DuVernay, yeah. um, executive produced by the the benevolent one, Oprah Winfrey. Come on. <laughs> and starring a cast of characters that I think any EP or director would die to have work with them, including a young man who plays a guy that I could kind of relate to, empathize to mm-hmm. on this show, man. It's a young man. That you know did some time. He had a, you know, he's had a hard life, and mm-hmm. and he came back, and now he's trying to make things right. You know, his father passed away. Mm-hmm. They got a big farm, and um, they're trying to fight to keep the legacy mm-hmm. of the family name. He, he plays the character Ralph Angel, but he's here today as himself. Kofi Sirabo is here, ladies and gentlemen. What up, Welcome, man. Girl. How you doing, brother? I'm amazing. Thank you for having me, Sway. Come Thank on, y'all man. For having me. Yeah. I, I I used to see awkward. Ah, don't even bring that up. Yeah, That's crazy. Yeah, well, Awkward was on that what was, network? Yeah, that was on MTV. Yeah, hello, yeah. <laughs> hello. Yeah, that was that was the start, man. That was that was that was the start. Yeah, that but that start. that was uh to me a very different and creative approach. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and, and it told stories we don't commonly see. Or yeah, absolutely. You know, it's crazy, man. That's like people's guilty pleasure. Like mm-hmm. the most random people still bring up awkward. And Tyler was like weird. Like he's yeah. a British dude from <laughs> Uganda. You know what I'm saying? That's like night and day from Ralph Angel from yeah. Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. But that show, that's a testament to your chops. Yeah, your strange. acting chops. You know, I know, you know. some, some. Yeah, because oh. sometimes Ralph Angel, Ralph Angel talks a little slower than your average person. Yo, they be the like, yo, the that scene. man is slow. <laughs> it's not even that, man. You know what's crazy is like Louisiana people think there's one one way to speak when you're from Louisiana, but it's yeah. just like it's just like New York. It's mm-hmm. just like LA. It's just like Africa. Like there's multiple dialects. Yeah. There's multiple characters from that one one place so definitely he's on the slower side no you captured it (laughs) he's on the slower side i love this how the storyline is now evolving i can't think of the family that owns the property the name of the family that owns the property around you guys Uh, um the uh we're the border loan family what family are you talking about the 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 ones who's trying to buy your property from oh the uh the uh the boudreaux the boudreaux the uh, the landry's yeah Yeah, and the landry's yeah 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 yeah. and the landry's years the goal you that to, story that the, the storyline yeah, oh. we own the land right in the middle of all the land that they own so yeah, yeah serious and they used to own the plantations yeah. right. that enslaved yeah. your family yeah. members yeah. Yeah. and all that's yeah. coming to surface now Trump. oh I love these kinds of <laughs> <laughs> I, love, these I love how into it people are you know it's wild because I'm so in the midst of it that yeah. I can't really see it the way I wish I could sometimes so to like see that you guys really rock with the stories and really feel it that's crazy it's a smart storyline absolutely it's uh, relevant. It is relevant. You know. That episode came out when that whole Trump situation happened. That's so right. it literally dropped, I think, the same night or like a night before. It yeah. was it was crazy. What are you yeah, calling the wild. Trump situation? The Trump situation. <laughs> it's our situation. Him it's being the American elected president. Situation. Right. Him being elected president. You called it a situation. The, the situation. <laughs> it felt like a situation, man. Cause I, I I can't front. I was I was filming my first movie that I was working on. Mm-hmm. Um I was right, I wrote, produced, directed a movie I shot out here in the Bronx called Jump. Get it. Um and I wasn't oh, okay. even 
I wasn't paying attention to the election, but it was happening. It was the traffic and the people. He's in town. He's shutting down. It was just, it was a situation. It was a situation. Okay. (laughs) Were you guys working the morning of when we heard the results? Because a lot of people were just really distracted. I was so not. Yeah, I was distracted mm-hmm. on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> on right. purpose for my for my own help for your own right. You yeah. know what I mean, because it's uh, it's a country so divided. So you either stressed or you're happy, right? Mm-hmm. So and I mean, we have limited choices. Like yeah. I'm, I'm a, I like choices. I like options, and I just man. Well, up. he's going to be your president now, Kofi. So he, yeah. is yeah, 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 president he is my president. He is your president. Yeah. So, so he got. Oh, you know, I, I accept him. I accept, accept him. him. At the end of the day, nothing happens if if it's not meant to be. You know. Yeah. So I think whatever whatever Trump is supposed to represent in America, that's what he represents. Mm-hmm. And we we created the society that even allowed him to be president. Exactly. So now we have to deal with that and progress from it. You know, I yeah. can't. I'm not going to hate it. I'm not going to resist it. That's so what's up, man. Kofi Syrable. I saw you on the Steve Harvey show. Uh, uh, yesterday. Yeah. I and, missed it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And seeing your brothers. Uncle you know, Kof. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and, 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 and listening to um, uh, well, Steve, actually, you guys all have different last names. Yeah. And your um, brother, uh, Kwame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start started explaining how it's a tradition mm-hmm. if you're from Ghana. Shout out to Kwame. Yeah, Kwame. <laughs> And he got that ill shoulder plug. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, uh, which is that out yet? Nah, he's oh. working on some things. I can't say that, but he got he got some he things. He got an ill shoulder, y'all. It's Quan. gonna be on Fox. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> jumping the gun. Right, right, right. right. I said I can't say that. Don't snitch. <laughs> then your, your other brother name is Quasi. Quasi. Yeah. Okay, he's an act. Yeah, yeah, he's an actor. He's yeah. done way more than I've ever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's been. He was in. Tyler Perry's I Could Do Bad of mm-hmm. He's like 17 now. Uh-huh. About to be 18. And he get more yeah, money than you. Oh, oh, he got man. more money than me. Damn. Damn. It's funny how he calls him <laughs> an OG, but he's like... Right, <laughs> he, he is. is. <laughs> you have to understand, like, what I'm doing right now on Queen, what I did with Kicks, that was all in hopes to be half as good as my little brother. Like, he's uh-huh. been doing it since forever, since I could even remember. Like, we've been doing it since our, our whole lives, but his work ethic and how able he is to just put himself in the care... I always was like, man, if my little brother could do it, I know I could do it. saying you to do it. It has to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So he reflected that back to me, which was dope. Well, you know, here's, um, I got proof, you know, uh, proof of theory. (laughs) You know, because you did a scene, um, woo, you did a powerful scene um, in in Queen Sugar. And, and, you know, his character, Ralph Angel, is fighting for um, custody custody of his kid. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, the kid's mom is back in everybody's life. I don't really know her backstory. Mm-hmm. I assume she did something some crazy. Some stuff coming. Some stuff. Some coming. stuff coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. 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 And but beyond that, I always check out people who are who are masters at their craft, and mm-hmm. I like when people rise to the occasion. And you're surrounded by a lot of great actors. Yeah, Juilliard actresses, yeah. all of that good stuff. And you delivered. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play this scene real quick. Oh wow, you have. The I scene. have the scene. Check you out. Here it is. How you think <laughs> I feel right now? Ain't bad. I gotta ask you if it's okay for my son to go on a school trip. Maybe he's a child. They put me in charge to make sure somebody is thinking about him first. Blue comes first. He come first to me. Always. As long as you fooling around with that dollar, he don't. Look, I ain't some no count lay about who only come to see Blue on Father's Day. He ain't no game to me. I've been here all day, every day since I got out. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Man, man. Yeah. That brings back memories. Yeah. Those days on set are so real, man. Yeah. It's just like this vortex you go into, and it's just, you just want to bring everything. I want to bring everything I have to that. And it's like, people are like, where did that come from? You ain't never been to, you don't have a, it's like, when do I get out? Like, that's how I feel oh, sometimes wow. as a human being. Like, when do I get to be black? When do mm-hmm. I get to be a man? When do I get, not the idea of it, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But when, when am I free? I, there's so much inside of all of us, but mm-hmm. I only know my universe. And there's so much I want to, I want to just show. I want to, I want to share. And it's like, sometimes it's like, when do I get to do that? When yeah. do I get out? And that's what that that all of that just came came straight to that <laughs> into Ralph Angel. Yeah, it's all yeah. I gave it all to Ralph Angel, man. Dude, it was so man. real. And then moments Still. later, you had to walk out the room, and 
still mm-hmm. turn around and right, right, away. Right. Just like, yo, like, yeah. yeah I, I was like, yeah. yo, he pulled that off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was your moment I to pull it off. That, yeah. Did you grow up in L.A.? or I grew up in L.A. Okay, what part of L.A.? West L.A., man. I was I was born in uh, Inglewood. Uh-huh. Daniel Freeman Hospital doesn't exist anymore. And I grew up in Ladera Heights. Um, Ladera Heights. The so Black Beverly. The Black Beverly, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm noticing your um, your shirt here, the blue and black. Is that, that that's not repping a set, is it? <laughs> ah, nah, no sets repping right no now. No sets repping. You didn't get nah. in that that in. Shout out to Silk though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no explanation, okay, no context. Okay, okay. Everybody got a gang bang. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Silk. How'd you avoid that though, being in LA? Silk man, shout out to <laughs> Silk. Nah, I mean, I just have amazing parents. You know, okay. um, I always said if I did choose that lifestyle, I would be Flacco. You know, I'm okay. extremely passionate, so it's like mm-hmm. ten toes. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I just, I never, I never had to do that. My parents always created an environment where I got to really find myself as a human being. Like mm-hmm. being black and being from LA, it's easy to be. Like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, a join the only family I can join, which is a mm-hmm. gang, or mm-hmm. which is. But like, I had a creative family. I have, I have brothers. I have parents. Like, I have a reinforcement. I had great school. You know what I mean? Like, there was a real effort to make sure I had the environment I needed to thrive and I feel like that's just word to my parents man that's word to your parents okay yeah we had uh we had Justin Tipping, the director of Kicks here, because you just mentioned yeah. Flacco. And in that movie you play father, and in this you're a father. Yeah. So you you're kind of faced with difficult decisions in mm-hmm. both projects. Did that kind of affect uh your real life decision making process as far as like how you want to be as a father? Absolutely, man. I feel like I've grown up just through these projects in the last like two years because they're so deep. They're not they're not myself. I'm a young, you know, twenty two year old dude. I don't have a kid. I'm still just like, you know, trying to find myself, find my identity. But these characters were so they're so they're so deep it was kind of therapeutic to actually be able to experience playing these fathers and actually like you know seeing what it or at least experiencing what it felt like to to care that much about somebody other than yourself so it's it's wild i always i always used to tell my mom like i want to be a young father like i want to i want to get through life quick in the sense of i want to live fast i want to have my i want to i want to do my i want to live my passions early so i could have a kid early i don't want to have a kid like 35 40 you know what i'm saying so and i want a lot of kids so i don't know man i just think i think i think god knows what he's doing i think he gave me the right practice um at the right time definitely Young Cove, I'm up? paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Young Cove. She knows what's up. <laughs> Not just to your voice, but I'm also paying attention to the sound of your jewelry and looking I know at it. Keeps, you know. No, it's cool, but it looks like it has some type of meaning behind it. Or am I just going too deep? <laughs> you just deep, like, oh deep. my bad. Yo, just people like, always are like, yo, <laughs> so tell me about you. <laughs> it's just fly. You so know what it is? It. I'm not used to seeing like guys in the spotlight. Who have like a cool looking bracelet right, right. versus like a big ass just diamond watch? Right, 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 right. No, that there's definitely curation to it. Like I didn't just like buy a bunch of jewelry, but mm-hmm. it's like pieces. Every time I go somewhere, I loved since I was a kid. I would be the kid looking for like rings and stuff at the mall. So yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. like I, I, it, it happens over time. Okay. You know? Yeah. We are yeah. gonna come back, man. I'm gonna open up the phone lines, man. If you're if you're oh, a word. fan of Queen Sugar, um. And, and you know, and you're a fan of Ralph Angel. Uh, we have uh, Kofi Sirabo uh, is here with us. 888-742-3345. He's on Sway in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. He got Oprah as an uh, hey. EP. <laughs> Ava DuVernay put him to work. <laughs> and now he's on Sway in the morning. Sway in the morning. Oh, what? 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 It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45. Kofi Cerebro is here. What a powerful name. I appreciate that. From Ghana. OG yeah. Sway. My, my, my ex-stepfather. Uh, okay. One of my stepfathers I'll from Ghana. he was going with it, too. Oh, he's from Ghana. <laughs> he moved to Oakland, and he used to cook uh, fish head stew. Mm. I don't know if you uh, up on a okay in, in the peanut butter soup. Peanut butter fufu and soup with the you know jalove. Got the mutio. Don't play. Ooh. I'm just waiting for Thanksgiving. Oh, I've yeah. been thinking about this. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Thursday so I can have all of that. All your family come together on Thanksgiving. Uh, for, yes, but yeah. they're in L.A. So I'm, okay. I'm spending some time with my boy um out here in New York. And you gonna Josh. be in New York? Yeah, my uh-huh. boy Josh. Shout out to Josh. He just produced Jump with me. Okay, he got his whole African family thrown down. So I'm excited about that. That's what's up, yeah. man. Um, um, Jump is 
available? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I got to cut it up, but we just finished it. It was a little five-day shoot. So, mm-hmm. um, it's very unconventional. I yep. mean, I guess the best way to, to describe it is a short film, but mm-hmm. it's about this dude in the Bronx, Ziggy, um, dealing with depression and mental illness. And um, it's, it's pretty much just about suicide awareness, what what his 48 hours around his birthday and what he goes through and mm. leading up to a little situation. So, What inspired cool. that? Man, I'm I'm a black man and I have crazy anxiety and sometimes I feel hella depressed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not it's not deeper than that. Like yeah. I'm I'm an artist. Like I said, some when do I get out? Like mm-hmm. as a human being, especially a black man, mm-hmm. it's like be tough, you know, be mm-hmm. cool, be it's like we're supposed to be everything but human. We're supposed to be everything but emotional, which is why I, I was so in love with Ralph Angel, because he's a real human being regardless of his past and you know this and that he loves his son he loves himself and he's just trying to find his identity and i think that's just relatable man Mm -hmm. shit we just had this full-fledged conversation about uh you did it in a celebrity wire mm. i think oh and wendy and black china went back mm. and forth about rob Kardashian. i know this right. sounds crazy yeah. making this parallel right <laughs> now limited identities for men absolutely mm-hmm. yeah but for human beings and it's just the classification same thing with women women are supposed to be women yeah. what does that mean right. you know, like yeah. what is a woman yeah and what is a man and what is a, a man? man and yeah. then there's a black man, man. an yeah. Asian man, mm-hmm. a yeah. white man, a gay man, a yeah. straight man, an artistic man, an athlete. But wh- what, what, what's a human? Like, right. what is that? Like, yeah. how? There's so much depth to that. You yeah. know what I mean? And we're not allowed to really explore, explore it freely. Well, you well know? when you say we're not allowed, I think um, we like, don't give ourselves that liberty. We yeah. gotta give ourselves. And it's that because liberty. of the society. The you know, society, the construct, so, man. I, I always, my uh, grandfather used to always. It never made sense till I got older. And I used to be worried about outside influences or forces. And my grandfather used to say, son, walk in your truth. Period. Mm -hmm. Live your truth. That's what O says, too. Oprah says. Did you call Oprah O? Was that a stunt? Did you get a stunt on that? Ah. (laughs) I caught myself. (laughs) I caught my... (laughs) That's just like whip me in the I mean, face real quick. How close are y'all, man? man? Like, can you call her now? Man, <laughs> I was thinking about actually coming here. Last time I was in New York, I was in a car, just me and her. We mm. were driving from a private jet. Stunt one more time. We were driving and just talking. Just wow. literally just, just driving through the city and talking. Fall was setting in, and I was just sitting there like, Coming here, I was like, I'm not sitting next to Oprah right now. Like, this feels, this doesn't feel the same. Mm-hmm. But I have to remember that somebody like her has mm-hmm. been in my, like, she, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's somebody who really is. Did she yeah. give you any, like, if yes. you don't mind sharing? Right. Just, can you the share keys. one? One, one stand out. As you one can thing. see, I can't even talk. Like, I don't yeah. even know what to say. One, one gym, man. one gym that, stuck, stuck, that sticks out, with Cole. you. She gave me a book called A New Earth, and um, mm-hmm. um, it's a great book, so y'all Eckhart go check Tolle. that out. Eckhart Tolle, mm-hmm. Tolle, whatever you say. Tolle. Tolle. Or, or, um, <laughs> um, but she just told me what you just said, live my truth and, and be intentional, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Sometimes we feel like, oh, I just got to be chill. I'm just out here doing... You could still be cool and be all whatever you think you, but there's intention, like the the power of actually having a a, a point and, and or having a what's the word I want to use? Just purpose having, or... just having a purpose, uh-huh. you know what I mean? And having and having and not not being afraid to live that intention fully. Sometimes we don't want to speak up for what we want or just be ourselves for like what I was talking about, just being a man. What that means, express, mm-hmm. live your truth and do it intentionally. Know what you want to do and create that path. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's nothing. You don't have to just fall into things and let, let life just kind of sway you around, no mm-hmm. pun intended. Mm-hmm. But it's just like really know what you want to go for. it. That's what she did with Queen Sugar. That's what her and Ava do. Like they didn't just, I want to show. No, they knew what they, they wanted to do. They it. knew mm-hmm. what stories they wanted to ne- to tell. They knew how they wanted the public to receive it. You can't control what happens when you're behind the TV at home, but what they can control is their portion. Yeah. And that's the intention. And I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen it manifest all the way to them helping, you know, me, live my intention and mm-hmm. my truth and putting me on a path that I, I can't even I couldn't imagine doing this by myself you yeah. know and, and I, I mean I haven't had to yeah Kofi so. Cerebro man oh. <laughs> Ralph Angel whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's here uh, we got folks on the line real quick uh, let's go oh, to word. this uh, we got um, Michelle from Oklahoma City good morning Michelle how Michelle. are you Michelle what up Michelle good morning guys good morning guys um, I just had a quick question first of all I'm enjoying the conversation about the positivity Dope. but I 
I've been watching the show, and I think I missed something with the dog. I mean, is the dog representing the mother, or is he having a personal little baby issue? You know, what's the deal with the dog? My husband and I are arguing about what's up. Is that his mom, or what's the deal with it? A, y'all don't argue. B, <laughs> um, you didn't miss anything. You just got to make sure you watch season two. Um, it's really one of those representations in the show that I love because there is no final, you know, there's, there's, there's it's just, it's up to your, up to your imagination as of now. Now, there's definitely things with that storyline that are coming up, but we only on episode 12. Episode 12. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to keep watching. Keep watching. Thank you, so Thank you Michelle. Okay. All right. Uh, Wednesdays, 10 p.m. on OWN. All right. You're a citizen, Let's Michelle. Sway in the morning. All right. We got uh, Vera on the line from Kansas City. Good morning, Vera. Vera, what a do? Hey, good morning. Uh, good morning. I was just so stuck that I actually got through. So. <laughs> What you, what I had a stupid question, but I'm not going to ask that question. No, no, ask the question. <laughs> ask the Go question. ahead, ask the question. Judgment no question is stupid. Was, the question was he single, but I really don't want to know yeah. that. I just want to tell him I love wait, him. Wait, wait, hold up. Let him answer that. <laughs> I'm single. Hey. Hey. <laughs> next question. Yeah. <laughs> so next but, time you watch like, him on TV. I just want to let you know I love the show. And okay. I'll be at, at home watching it. Like, y'all better leave him alone. That's <laughs> Ralph Angel. Leave him alone. He's doing what he got to do. I'm trying, right? And then Vera, now that you know right. he's single, next time you watch the show, you can rock off to him and not feel like a home record. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> Word. My son was just in the car like mama for real. Oh, you call it? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. All right, I'm out. Peace. All right, Vera. You know what I'm right. And he All African. Right. Okay, well, and okay. he African. <laughs> Yo, yo, Tracy. What special tribes out there, fam. Special tribes. Yo, that's, that's, that's the voice of Tracy G. <laughs> Kofi Zerubel is here. Let's get in that celebrity wire. Whether it's A list celebrities, you're the biggest star in the world right now, or D list has beens. Loser, you're a loser. You make me sick, you big baby. All the gossip, rumors, and news is right here in Celebrity Wire. All these famous people are doing some crazy. Things sounds like good gossip to me. On sway in the morning. All right, uh, Kofi, you're going to join us for the Celebrity Wire. Yeah, you're going to run anchor. Okay. All right, here we go. Tracy, go for it. Let's talk about Big Money Man inside the pockets of Dave Chappelle. We all saw how he had his hosting debut in SNL. That went extremely well. And that parlayed into him having a huge deal with Netflix. I say huge because it's said to be worth up to $60 million. Word. Damn, man. Damn. Three specials that are planned with that hella big streaming giant. So I look forward to seeing what that looks like. Chris Rock like got two specials for $40 million, So I'm glad they're paying them at the same rate. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so Dave Chappelle came in with that, like, hey, I ain't go to Africa for no reason. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna get that 50 million back. Hello. Hello. He just got it back. Hello. So he got, he invested in himself, mm -hmm. he lived his truth. He took that time, he, he lived his truth. truth, and look at what's happening. And it came all the way Full back circle. around. Absolutely. So knowing that he's making this much, what you gonna say to Ava and Oprah next time you see him? I need uh 60 million <laughs> to come back for season two. Oh. <laughs> it's a new year. A new year. Uh, New beginnings. Good okay, luck. moving into a different type of story. Good luck. So Naya Rivera from Glee. Unfortunately, she's better known as Big Sean's ex. Remember when they broke off their engagement? And he was saying this was back in 2014. He was accusing her of being hella controlling. She then ended up getting married to one of her boys, set up in the same way that she was gonna get married to Big Sean. This guy's name was Ryan Dorsey. Their entire freaking marriage has fallen apart. Go figure. Divorce. Already? And she was just peddling that memoir where she was talking shit about Big Sean too, right. all of that. But really, she got she wasn't telling the truth about her own relationship. So she wasn't living her truth. She wasn't living mm. her truth. Okay. Keep it a hundred, Keep man. it a hundred. You ever have like a girl from your past come back and just try to... Not yet. <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> you still young, Coach 22. Not yet. Not yet. Nah, man. You got to be careful now, man, though. Man, I got to be mad careful. Yo, Kofi, be so Selective. Absolutely. Intentional. Be selective. Intentional. All, intentional and all money ain't good money. Hey. So all honey ain't, ain't good honey. <laughs> hey. <Get in> mind. <laughs> Next. Story. Next. All right. This is very serious. I just want to say everything that's about to come out my mouth is not meant to be taken in jest. Yesterday, just a few hours after we were talking about Kanye West and what happened when he had a rather bizarre um, rant during one of his shows in Sacramento. And remember, he was targeting Beyonce. Well, at 1.20 p.m. over in L.A., he was taken to the UCLA Medical Center for psychiatric evaluation. 
Now, it's being said that cops, they responded to a call for a quote unquote welfare, a che- welfare check on Kanye around 1.30, like I said. He was at his trainer's home at the time and was said to be acting erratically. Mm. It's being reported that police called L.A. fire. And by the time paramedics arrived at Kanye, he was calmer. But he was hella resistant to going to the hospital. Now, Kim Kardashian wasn't there because I remember earlier it was reported that she had just jumped on a 6 a.m. flight to New York City. Because she was supposed to be doing um, an event here in honor of her father. But now it's being reported today that she's already on a flight back to L.A. So going back to Kanye, it's being said that his management and law enforcement were convincing him that it was in his best interest to go. And it was being said that he was handcuffed to a gurney during transport to the hospital, which was alarming to me until I found out that that's standard standard. protocol. Exactly. Um, and we don't have that much information about how he's currently doing. But we do know that um, the St. Pablo tour has been canceled. It's being said because um, all of the dates were a bit overwhelming for him. And he needed to pull out for his mental health. Um, so, so I'm saying a sleep deprivation as well, mm-hmm. um, that he hasn't been sleeping. And if you under if that is true and you're under a lot of pressure and you're working all the time and you're confronting audiences and you're fighting this beef, you know, this... Stay, fighting for your causes, mm-hmm. fighting to stay famous, fighting to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. His wife was just robbed at gunpoint. Mm-hmm. You know, um, whatever's going on with him and his good friends, Jay-Z and Beyonce. It's enough to stress, you know. Oh, yeah. It's going to strike. Oh, enough, yeah. I it's mean, enough to stress you out. Domino's going to tumble. It's more than enough to stress you out, yeah. man. He yeah. needs he needs a woosah. He needs to like a little vacation. Mm-hmm. He needs to go chill with his little north and go do something mm-hmm. real chill. Yeah. And glad. therapy. Yeah. There's nothing I was, wrong. I was going to say, man, if he was a white male, we'd be like, oh, poor, you know, da 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 Well, you know, what, he's Kanye West. Can you imagine what kind of stuff goes through that man's mind? Mm-hmm. Like... He's he's Kanye West. Uh-huh. Like there's there's a level of mental health and and you have to take care of yourself. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, and us as his fans or supporters or just person to spectators. person, yeah, spectators, whatever you want to call it, we just got to give him his space to do that give without judging space. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I got my moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, all of us. Yeah, I can see you got yours. Kofi. I can tell you. You you're yeah. trying to contain it this morning. Like. <laughs> You know, I don't come up here doing those things, man. Do crazy it's stuff. A lot of these dudes, a lot of, <laughs> lot of you, you entertainers having to get this pressure. Y'all come yeah, up in here and start yeah. yelling at hey. us, man. I ain't, you know, you, ain't, you ain't got the answer, Sway. You ain't got the answer, Sway. Let it go, man. This is your therapy. Nah, I and I invite you. any any people I know. Yeah. If you're going through it, you want to come up here and get it off your chest. You get it. Right. Yell at me. I can That's handle it. I know you can. I can deal. You know what's up? All right. Um, thank you, Tracy, for that celebrity. Why you want to talk more about it? You can hit her up anytime. Yeah, find me on Twitter, Instagram at it's Tracy G I T S R A C Y G. Kofi Syrable, man, give out your social media citizens. Yeah. We got because we got Don from Philly, Larry in Pittsburgh, Luther in Nashville, Cynthia in DC. They mm. all there's a lot of folks calling yeah, for you. They can hit up. you up directly. Where you can hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. My handle is Kofi Syrabo, K O F I S I R I B O E. Dope. Congratulations. Right. When you do jump, come up here first, man. We can talk mm-hmm. about it, all right? We're going to do some screenings. We're going to really talk. We okay, talk absolutely, yeah. man. All right, pleasure, you, man. Absolutely. Honey. Hey, tell O I said what's up. Oh. I got you. I got your mind on this Okay, that's <laughs> enough. Let her know. Yeah. All right, we got our Sway in the Morning concert series. We got Day Day, P&B Rock, London on the Track, and Shy Glizzy from 300 Entertainment. All right, that's coming up right after yeah, the mix with the one and only DJ. Hey, it's Sway in the Morning. Shade 45.